Hey, what's up, guys? BSG Trek Fan 88 here. Yes, I know I'm dark right now. I'm kind of, well, pixely. Um, it is September 30th, 2012. And for Post Every Night in September, the first time I have uh, participated in this, I think it's been done for a couple of years now. I missed a few nights, to be completely honest with you. Some nights I literally, I came home from work and I, I crashed. I, I, I had food. And I just laid in my couch or my bed and just watched something until I went to sleep. So, unfortunately, I cannot say that I posted every night in September. Um, I think I posted 25 out of the 30 days. Uh, I think I only missed about 5 days or so. Um, also, 2 nights out of that were YouTube errors, where literally it would be like the server cannot recognize your video or some bullshit. So, I consider my first outing as this a success. Uh, September was not necessarily a busy month, but it was a hectic month. Um, I transferred from Falmouth, Massachusetts to Hyannis, uh, delivering mail for the post office. And let me tell you, going from a post office that has 13 routes, which I had almost all of them down, in the sense that, you know, if you told me, oh, you're doing this route tomorrow, okay, it's, it sucks that I'm doing X route, but I'll do it no problem, to going to an office that has 28 routes, and you're the new guy, and all that jazz, it, you know, it's kind of interesting to say the least. But anyway, what will I talk about uh, on the last day of September? <sighs> That's a tough question. Um, Avengers came out on Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray presentation is freaking fantastic, audio and video-wise, especially the menu for the disc. You know, a lot of Blu-ray releases recently have kind of disappointed. This movie knew what it was going into when it made itself on Blu-ray, and of course that's the people who designed it, but that would be my favorite job, by the way. If I could pick one job besides um, editing videos like trailers, it would be making Blu-ray and DVD menus. Um, but anyway, that's actually what I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, I am a really, really big fan of DVD and Blu-ray menus that fit the film that they're for. Um, and to give you an example of this, the I might cut to it right now, but the menu for Terminator 2 Judgment Day, the ultimate or ex um, or the the ultimate DVD or the one that came after that, um, really fits the film. I cannot stand movie, like DVDs and even some Blu-ray discs that literally come out and it's just boom the menu where it's literally play movie special features or scene selection and of course i fucking can't stand blu-ray and dvd releases that are like special edition and all it has is the fucking trailer okay seriously laser discs came with trailers that's not special it's cool especially before the days of internet and especially youtube where nowadays you can type in whatever movie you want and then trailer and then Boom, you're watching the trailer. You know, back in the day, Laserdisc and the, the DVD days before YouTube was popular, besides going to the actual website, which a lot of films didn't have it, you know, you couldn't watch the trailer. And for someone like me, I remember vividly the first time I saw the teaser trailer, um, which was the first trailer that I saw for back there, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. It's one of those things where we take for granted these days because it, it's everything is digital and instant. But, um, you know, I loved the fact that Blu-rays, or not Blu-rays, DVDs back in the day, you know, oh, comes with a trailer, yes! And, you know, maybe an audio commentary or the behind-the-scenes footage. Um, but back to the, the topic at hand here, I like menus that are intricate, that look cool, that fit the movie. You know, Iron Man's menu system revolved around his suit for the first Blu-ray disc. The Avengers revolves around the helicarrier, and then it zooms into like a blade, like the Xbox blade system, and it has every major character, and it does like a quick slideshow. It, it's freaking cool! And I don't know why, I mean, yes, when DVDs and Blu-rays have the fucking FBI ads, and the pirating ads, and then it immediately goes into a trailer, or five trailers, for other movies that will not be relevant a month after the Blu-ray or DVD is released, that's fucking annoying. But the menu system for the movie, I really appreciate. And you even have people that criticize that. Oh, I don't want to see footage of the movie that I'm about to watch. It'll ruin it. 
I think the angry video gamer James Rolfe said that, and yes, he might have been in character, and yes, he might have just been kind of overdoing it for the sense of a show. I love the angry. I love James Rolfe and everything he does, but okay. First of all, if you're, it, it's a fifty-fifty thing here where most people who buy stuff these days have seen it before, especially on major releases where you care about the story the first time you see it, like you really care about it. Um, but you know, obviously. Some people have not seen it, but at the same time, they show, like, parts that you're not going to remember that much. I mean, it's not like it's literally showing you the movie with dialogue and subtitles. It's just an overview. It's just a quick panning shot. So anyway, I'll, this video is over now. It's been about five minutes or so. Um, September is over, October, and what I love, my f second favorite season of the year, which is fall, um, I love being able to go outside and smell Halloween, basically, is what I call it. Um, fall begins tomorrow. Um, hectic month, October, has a couple of things going on, but November is Halo 4, December and January. Uh, you know, <sighs> excuse me, November's Thanksgiving, December's Christmas, um... I will be going on, if the post office keeps me on, um, I'll have a five day break where literally whatever the dates are, um, I'll have five days off, which I'm going to request a couple of extra days, and I'm going to go to Washington DC for at least three days again, so that should be fun. But anyway, we'll, I'll keep you updated here. This is BSG Trek Fan 88 signing out.